Let's go on inside. See what horrors await within. Someone is defiling the area. Oh look, yeah, we can just grab shit now. Oh my god, my, my encumbrance is through the roof. Or unencumbrance is through the roof. I have unlimited unencumbrance. I have un oh shit. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh, neat. Oh, it looks so wild. Alright. Oh, look at them. Ooh, their chest has, like, been caved in. Oh, they've been, like, sucked dry. What? They've turned into raisins. <laughs> they've... <laughs> they've turned into Dark Souls characters. <laughs> When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they had departed from Markarth in a flurry of action after having stolen some of Kalsomo's cool Fulmer rubbings that would be the key to deciphering the weird-ass texts and journal entries of none other than Gallus the dead member of the Thieves' Guild. But while in that area, did the Dragonborn decide to travel northwards, not towards the... towards Carlia and the rest of the Thieves' Guild, no siree. Instead, deciding to help out Barbus at long last and fulfill the deal and contract as was negotiated with Clavicus Vile. There would they have to retrieve the Rueful Axe inside of a creepy, dingy cave? This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back, baby. Zoom. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. We are right over yonder. I've also slept. Got us a point in, uh, what do you call it, in health. So now we're up to a nice round three hundo. And we'll probably keep it at there for a long, long time. Probably just put more points into stamina until we get at a a decent carry weight situation. Which, you know what, may be coming up soon. I'm kind of tempted to put points into pickpocketing, but for the time being, I've actually reserved our um, skill point. Because we're so close to getting double enchantments with enchanting. We may get that before we ding again, or we level up again. Do people still say ding? Do people still say ding, or is that just weird MMO people who say that anymore? I don't know. But nonetheless, we may get that. All right, let's see. <laughs> how do we how do we get over to this thing again? Jeez, and Pete, it ain't even showing up on my map, really. Okay, is this it down here? Yeah, we're going to have to become ethereal, aren't we? All right. Fight! Yeah. There we are. Also, <laughs> good lord. Thanks as well to gentle viewers, Zoro Loco, The Distant Sound, and Jay Maddie, all of whom, and as well, the people who liked up their comments, offered some sound advice on the dragon situation, who said, yeah, in fact, this is a bug. And the dragons do try to look for a place to land around, like, half health or whatever, as we've discerned so far. But the issue was, somehow it bugged out, maybe it got caught on a companion, or just couldn't find a place to land, or whatever. And when they can't do that, sometimes they just keep flying around. The best way to fix is to, like we did, just enter an interior, a load screen of some sort, to sort of refresh the world state in a way, right? But, nonetheless, also, even if we did, at the end, remember, we were thinking, maybe we can try to kill this thing mid-air? and it'll just fly down and its bones will be retrievable somewhere? Doesn't work, because they only die if they're on the ground, right? So, what else can I say? The game was rigged from the start. <laughs> or at least the 50% health mark. Let's go on inside here. What are we expecting? Some vampires? No. A fiery Atronach. Ooh, shit. Okay. I mean, I'll mess with a fiery one, huh? All day. There we go. Should we get... Yeah, let's get Dre. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. Oh my god! Zapped and blasted me in a major way. Shit! I just stood there taking it, trying to cast my spell like, Come on, come on, why isn't it working? Just flicking my wrist like, Come on, come on, what's going on? Come on! <laughs> Fucking terrible. <laughs> Alright, here, I think this is the appropriate, proper way we're supposed to get down here. There we are. Yeah, good. 
<laughs> Fucking A. Alright. Let's go on down. Good, good, good. Once more, wizard lords giving us some degree of consternation, huh? Okay. There we are. Let's just preemptively get Dre. There we are. Soul Trap. Good. Let's get some alteration leveling going on as well. Avoid the Wizard Lord. Quick save behind this. Safe spot. Alright. Good, good, good. Ho there, Gordon. Let's see. We're getting zapped and blasts. See, see him? Good. Oh shit, no, it's their Stefan that is fucking me. Oh! Jeez! Okay, okay, we're fine back here, I think. Good lord. It's Sebastian Lort. Lort, Lort, Lort. Okay. <laughs> Should we heal up back here or what? Are we okay? Hmm. Let's see. How do we want to heal up? We could heal up via healing, or we could, like, do it in a roundabout way with Magicka. Let's reserve our Magicka, huh? Let's get just a bit. There we are. That should be fine. Worst case, we get obliterated or whatever. Can we get a soul trap out of that? Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Come on, dude! Come on! Sebastian! <laughs> Eat shit! Oh, shit! You're a powerful man! Oh, God. Pulled right off of Dre. Fucking A. Alright. Let's see. There we are. Good. Shit. Let us re-equip our shit here. I fucked that up in a major way. Good. From the Roda. Beautiful. Get up here. Cool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Good lord, just a few of them blast my ass to smithereens, huh? All right. Do I have all of my Magicka Resist active at the moment? Let's see, I got sneaking on this. We could pump it up a little bit more. How about my Magic Resist Ring? Yeah, 17%. Do I have any Shock Resist on me? Hmm. I'm not sure that I do. I think we may have already used it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh, we could try and poison them a bit and suck away their Magicka. Okay, let's try that. Good. Shit. Good. Fuck that dude up. Oh, fuck you. Oh, good lord. Okay. <laughs> let's get a little bit more healing here. Oh god, if someone could tank that fucking Stefan back there, that would be rad. Good god, man. Alright, let us eat some veg soup. We should probably also scarf down another potion. There we are. Or two. Good. There we are, gotcha. Great. Alright. There we are. Uh, you know what I forgot about again? Don't we have our Banish Daedra or whatever? That would have worked, right? Yeah, Expel Daedra. Shit! I always forget about this. And we have Command. Shit, shit, shit. It's favorite. There we are. That would have been excellent here. And does that stack? Like, can we have... Can we turncoat one of their dudes? in addition to having our own out? Like, could we have gotten the enemy Stefan on our side as well as our own Dre? Oh, look! Was that the end of the dungeon? Oh, shit, I guess so. Look, they were offering an egg, nightshade, a bowl, and a scroll of Conjure Familiar along with the axe. That's very bizarre. <laughs> Why would they do that? And they just sprinkled a little bit of blood on everything just for good measure, you know? It doesn't hurt when you're doing some sort of weird ritual in the middle of nowhere inside of a fucked up ice cave. If you're trying to summon some sort of demonic presence, it doesn't hurt just to sprinkle just a little bit of blood on everything, right? It gives you some kind of boon. Alright, return to the Shrine of Clavicus Vile with Barbus 
and the Rueful Axe. What does the axe do? 20 points of stamina damage. That's pretty rough. Jeez, didn't Volendrung also do something similar like stamina absorption? Good God, what's with all this stamina shit? Shit, shit, shit. That's like my least favorite thing. I'd rather just kill them faster, or at the very least, if they're some sort of wizard lord, suck up their wizard juice. All right, let's see over here. Robes of Peerless Alteration. Now I command your power. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Let's go in over here. Oh, look. They're little wizard's cove. Ah, I see. And a delicious apple pie. Hmm. 2920. We've read them all, though. We'll leave it there. All right. We're quite encumbered, aren't we? Yeah, we're... Well, we got ten more units. All right. How come the... Oh, because it's a quest item. I was about to say, how come the Rufal Axe didn't encumber us at all? But it's because it's still a quest item, right? I think if we decide to have it be our quest reward, it suddenly becomes heavier. Such is the curse, right? Okay. Is this a trap? No, it's just a strange pebble. Okay. Treasure! What do we have? Elven Gilded Armor! Oh my god. Okay, the value to weight ratio is off the charts. We'll take all of it. Look at all this. A whole bunch of wizards reading here. Salt pile, bone meal. The Song of Palinol. Dwemer Inquiries. Here, let's turn on the lights a bit. There we are. The Ransom of Zarek. I don't know if I've read that. I think I have. It's by Marabarsul. All right. A Dance and Fire First Hold Revolt Children's Annuad. A, a kiss, sweet mother. Any of this? Runes of Kemelzi. Nothing. Yeah. Whole lot of shit that we are not entirely interested in, right? Because we've already read before. Look, a petty soul gem just sneaking up in there, though. I enjoy that. Alright. Cool. Goodness, goodness. I probably, if I were some sort of weird, fucked up, like, necromantic dude, I wouldn't want to chill out up here in, like, the frost caves. At least go to, you know the reach. It's still cold there, but it's not as bad as this. Good lord. I guess you know what? That offers some sort of protection, huh? Alright, let's sleep for a long-ass time, right? Or should we just sleep for a short-ass time? You know what? Let's just go for a short-ass time. Two hours. That'll top us off, I think. Get us to be rested. Yeah, feeling refreshed. Not well-rested, but refreshed. I'll take it, I guess. Alright. Let's head on out. Where should we go to from here? I'm thinking maybe... Oh shit, that is a lootable. Wow, you never see him like this! Oh my god! Look at this! How often do you get to see... What a treat! Oh, it looks disgusting! Oh, look at it! Ugh, why does it look so weird? Oh, I don't like that at all. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like magma that is solidifying? There's probably a technical term for when magma solidifies, right? Got our fire salts, though. Still need one more. All right. Can I zombify this thing? Okay, fair enough. You know what? I'd <laughs> that makes sense. If anything, it's more surprising that its body is just there, right? Well, no, no, because it, it wasn't summoned. Yeah, lest we forget everything in Oblivion, right? We're just accustomed to the Skyrim way of things. Okay. Rare to see many just demons just roaming around, huh? Shit, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's part of a mammoth head. Okay, it's been, like, encased in ice. It looks so weird. All right, head on out to Skyrim. My favorite place. Hey, I don't know if that's true. Cave. Wonder what's inside. I don't know, Ilya. <laughs> we may never know. What's that down there? Oh, I remember that. And there's one of the DLC locations, right? Oh, man. We're in an open world now. We can see everything from here. Okay, let's rip out this thing's eyeball. Should we take the pelt? Hell no. We would be over encumbered. What a foolish error that would be. Okay. Let's see. We're also in the area for fucking with... Meridia's stuff, aren't we? Should we try and do that? Here, Ilya, can you take some of my shit? 
How much room you got? We could have you, like, drop a shitload of metal, right? What do you want me to carry? Let's see. How about... Ay, ay, ay. How about... These gems. Here, I'll take some of the heavy-ass metal. It's fine. Let's see here. Good. And then... Let's give you... A little bit of these soul gems. Excellent. What else? Anything that's filled. We'll put it on Ilya. There we go. Good. All of these ingredients just as well. Good. We'll keep the fire salts just to be safe. Great. Man, fire salts have really been difficult to come by, huh? Okay. Like we were saying, such a far cry from how it was in... Oblivion Land. Alright. Should we deposit all of our scrolls on her? She can't use them, can she? They do weigh 0.5 each. Like, damn, dog. Fuck it. I mean, you know what? If she uses them, she uses them. There we are. Okay. Anything else over here? In our wizard stash? Elven gilded armor? There you go. Ilya, do you like that? It's gilded. Who wouldn't want that? Okay, and a pickaxe we could pass off to her. Alright. Let's also take... Oh, jeez. How about this heavy-ass shit? Dope. And then... We'll give her the pickaxe. There. That'll do. That's fine. I do kind of like carrying around the pickaxe myself, because it means, you know, one less menu to navigate through. But, eh. We're in a desperate situation. Let's get going then. Look at that, the gilded armor. It goes good with her hat, I think. Okay. Let's see. Here we are. Dump some of this. Cool. And it could be a fun little treat the next time we come through. Who knows? Actually, should we scream them off the side of the world? Maybe that would be even better. Right? Because we're definitely going down there at some point. Maybe we scream them off the side of the world? And just cross our fingers? Because what are the chances that we come back here? Right? Whereas, if we do this, we might find him again someday. Alright, fingers crossed. <laughs> They're too heavy. <laughs> Didn't work. Alright. Let's see. Where is Meridia's quest as well? This is in the area, is it not? Let's see. We got this, like, very early. Yeah, bring Meridia's beacon to Mount Kilkreath. Or Kilkreath. I found a strange gem and otherworldly voices commanding me to bring it to Mount Kilkreath. Which is... Oh, right over here at the Statue of Meridia! <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Alright. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We need to smash and bash our little unit up here. Okay. I'm assuming we can only ever have one. And if you forget to do this, you are just shit out of luck, right? There we go. Good. Get no supplies back. We just completely, like, open a portal to oblivion and just send a whole stash of camps. <laughs> Gordon's house, while Gordon is in crab mode, his house is just being filled with, like, a whole bunch of camping supplies. <laughs> There's just percolators all over the place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Poor Gordon. All right. Let's see. Go over here. Oh, sh Shazba. What is that? Is that a troll? That is a troll. Okay. You know what? Maybe we don't need to worry about that. Maybe that's just something that doesn't need to concern us. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to care. Who cares? That's just a troll getting smacked around by a couple of fucking spriggans. Who minds? I don't mind. Do you mind? Ilya doesn't mind. Oh, look. Oh, what's this? Oh, what is this? Oh, lost echo cave. Oh, shit. Okay, we don't want to go in there yet. <laughs> Isn't that... <laughs> that's something... That's something we want to save, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright. Let's bring up our map again. Alright, yeah. We're going in the, the appropriate road here. We'll just stay forward here, forward facing. Love it. If only our prior oh god. If only prior Mabel would show up. I have no idea how the horse situation works. But so far, 
I totally regret buying Prime Rabel Prime. There we are. Good. Shazma. Troll fat. Could we like level up our, our alteration in the waning moments of combat? Could we do that? Oh shit. Oh hey, you got a little friend there. Yo, she is totally using our scrolls, isn't she? <laughs> Fuck me, Ilya. Come on. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Take care of this dude. Ah! Good. Love it. Didn't get the soul trap off, but it's fine. Should we take their fat? Damage health, I guess. And resist poison. That's pretty useful. Especially once we go down to Charis City. Fucking A. Okay. Let's continue up here before we freeze our butt off. Some random bard will just be walking out here on a pilgrimage or something to the Shrine of Meridia or something. And find... A man's frozen butt, just out here in the wild. My god. It's been preserved for hundreds of years. This... Oh, you found the ass of the last dragonborn. Blessed by R.K. <laughs> or by Akatosh. <laughs> oh, hey, wow. You can see, uh, see it from a long ways away, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, I think we saw- didn't we see it from when we were down in the Swamps of Sorrows or whatever? Yeah, I think we did. Oh shit, look at this. As well. Look, another unit right over yonder. This may be the one that we- one of the two that we do seek. Oh, what could this one be? When magical treasures wait within for us. Oh, I must discover it. Let's see, up and over here. Good, good, good. All right. No oh, shit. Some little dudes. Yo, is it is it out here? Where is it at? Huh. Oh, there it is, I think. Is that it? Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, is this one of the friendly ones? I can't recall. All right. And we have active on us right now the bonus XP to everything, right? Which is pretty nice. It's been nice, and honestly, we got some use out of it, right? Let's see here. Keep forgetting how to even check it. Active effects. Let's see. The Lover Stone. All skills improve 15% faster. Yeah, pretty nice. But perhaps we would prefer... Oh, Hachimachi, this is the steed, baby! We're never gonna be encumbered again! Those under the sign of the steed can carry more and do not suffer a movement penalty from armor. You may only have one sign blessing at a time. I'll take it! Oh my gosh, my encumbrance must have plummeted. Oh look. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Jeez, why is this one turning into this? Jeez, this is, is this Silent Hill right here? <laughs> What's going on? Alright, but look. Oh my god, our encumbrance has, like, shaved at least 200 off. Or not 200, 100. Right? Good gravy. Okay. Or, maybe not 200, yeah. We've probably shaved, like, 50 off, but in the process we have also gained 50. Right? I think that... That about maths out. That makes some degree of sense. To my dumb ass, at least. Alright. Now if we look over yonder... Where do it be? There it is. The great beacon shining, letting us know that indeed, this is where we will find our amazing loot drop on our strange sci-fi prehistoric dinosaur island. Hmm. I feel like pooping. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Some sort of cave right there, but maybe, you know what? Maybe we don't have time for that just yet. Because we have a mission right before our very fucking eyes. <gasps> the beautiful shrine of Meridia. 
Oh, goodness. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Is it in if ruins? If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Hmm. Is, um... Is Meridia like Yandere? <laughs> We've been bringing that Restore up a lot. Restore to me my beacon, that oh. I might guide you toward your destiny. Look, she's got a couple of little dudes down here. Are these her again? Wait, are these like little versions of her? Is that what this is? <laughs> are these little Meridias? Just like playing patty cake down here? Oh my gosh, look. We're at the perfect- We're here at the golden hour, baby! Oh my god, here, I'm gonna do a hard save. Let's see. Look at that, that's a screenshot moment. That's a thumbnail, baby. Boom. Throw the rocks. Oh! 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 <laughs> Very reminiscent of what happened in- It is time oh. for my splendor to return to Skyrim. In Knights of the Nine. And the token of my truth lies buried in the ruins of my once great temple. The last now time we had a run in with Maria. Now profane darkness skittering within. Oh no, skittering! You a ball? The necromancer Malkarin defiles my shrine with vile corruptions. Trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Hmm. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. Ooh, what's he doing? I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. All right. Tell me more about this artifact. It doesn't really sound like I have a choice in the matter. I'll do it. <laughs> Tell me more. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, oh. for it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. False life? You will a enter death? my shrine, destroy Malkarin, and retrieve this mighty blade. Alright. It doesn't really sound like I have a choice in the matter. But a single candle can banish the darkness of the entire void. If not you, then someone else. My beacon is sure to attract a worthy soul. Ooh. All right. But if you are wise, you will heed my bidding. Okay. Go now. Oh. The artifact must be reclaimed, and Malkarin destroyed. Alright, I'll do it. Malkarin has forced oh. the door shut, but this is my temple, and it responds to my decree. I will send down a ray of light, guide this light through my temple, and its doors will open. What happens if I keep running away? Oh, it sucked me back or something? Oh no. Oh god! Oh god! Whoa! Okay. Whoa. <laughs> all right. Neat! Jeez, they got the statue all wrong. She's just a big ball. She's not some, like, robed, winged lady holding her hands up. She's the ball. Oh! Maybe that's the whole point. This isn't her. This is like one of her... I don't know, worshippers or something, right? And then little fun worshippers as well. Oh, I see. And the real Daedric Prince here is the ball. Oh my god. Orbin it up, big style. Okay, let's go on inside. F it. I'm ready. Look at this, we're doing double down on the Daedra town? Holy shit. Let's go on inside. See what horrors await within. Someone is defiling the area. Oh look, yeah, we can just grab shit now. Oh my god, my, my encumbrance is through the roof. Or unencumbrance is through the roof. I have unlimited unencumbrance. I have un oh shit. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh neat. 
Oh, it looks so wild. All right. Oh, look at them. Ooh, their chest has like been caved in. Oh, they've been like sucked dry. What? They've turned into raisins. <laughs> they've <laughs> they've turned into Dark Souls characters. No! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Take some of that. All right. Hey, isn't this one of these rare ones <laughs> that I always skip by? Hey, we're finally going to get one. <laughs> there it is. How about this person? Are they also in Dark Souls? Oh my gosh. Prepare to die edition. Welcome to Dark Souls. Take your money. All right. What else is around here? Got some. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, I hate it when that happens. All right. Jeez, this place really has been defiled. What is all this stuff? How do they emanate this? How do I start emanating this? I want to emanate some sort of weird foggy color. Oh, God, I'm a little scared now. All right. Let's turn on the lights again. Oh, shit. Look, another dark soul up ahead. Oh, could this be? Lest we forget the furtive pygmy. <laughs> they were a storm cloak the whole time. Ugh. Okay. This is probably the most desecrated corpse we've ever seen in anything, right? This has got to be it. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Over here. I can't believe they would do that, whoever took control of this place. <laughs> they ruined all of my collection of corpses! <laughs> oh, Meridia. Let's see. Go inside of this. I want some, some tales of Meridia just, like, trying to scam people into thinking that she's some sort of, uh, holy divine... I don't know, one of one of the nine divines or something. I feel like that would happen a lot, right? <laughs> like, what? Who, who are you? Which div divine are you? Why, well, of course, I am... Stendar! It's me! St I'm Debella! Of course I'm Debella! <laughs> it's me, your favorite, Debella! Oh, look at me, I've got the robes and everything! Ooh, do you like being fertile? That's what I like, cause I'm Debella. I'm definitely not a demon. <laughs> Fucking Meridia, what a champ. Very, very Morrowind, right? <laughs> to have, have someone trying to scam people like that with their identity and all that shit, like. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, look. Ugh. Look at the damage here. Ugh. They're like oozing. That shit from the skin of evil. That trash bag monster. All right. Okay, over here. Oh shit, man, this place is big. Okay. All right, yeah, I remember this. Now this is some Tomb Raider ass shit, huh? Oh man, I forgot it made such a noise. Are there any bad dudes in here? There must be. There m oh my god, you know what we didn't even try? What a fucking fool I am! <gasps> Let's see. Where's one of those bodies? Yo! Fuck me! Okay, it's not actually- alright, fair enough. <laughs> I thought we would get to see it walking around. Damn. Alright. <laughs> the fuck's going on there? Alright, well. Let's, uh, touch this thing. This seems safe, seems fine. Shoot it into a laser, huh? Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. Ah, they've been linked up. Whew. Man, I didn't think we'd be able to solve that one. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go on over here. This is somehow miraculously easier than the puzzles that we normally encounter. I didn't think it was possible, but lo and behold, Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Let's go over, look around for some sweet loot loot. I don't think we're gonna find any. Just more raisin folk. Good lord. Was there really undeath in here? Were they, <laughs> were they really 
raising the dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go on down here. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's a freakish specter lord. Who goes there, you foul fuck? Oh my god. Whoo! A corrupted shade. What did they look like normally? Were they just all white with blue eyes? <laughs> Alright. Let's go on over here. Take care of them. Oh. Let's get some soul trapping going on. I don't know. What are these what kind of souls do these have? Eat some haunches as well. Satisfied? You know what? I'll double down. There we are. Let's get some alteration up. Boom. Another one of these. Boom. Alright. What have you got? Ooh. They turned into ooze. Okay. There we are. Good. Great! Whew. They sure are lucky they can fly, you know, because they don't have any legs. Alright. Let's see, another cool room here with a... an impossible puzzle. Oh, look. But also, what could this be? It requires a key. My god. Oh, maybe this is the quick exit. Oh, I bet it is. Okay. Somebody just put a whole bunch of, like, body parts on their brazier, put a pot up there. So defiled. Completely defiled and disgusting, really. Okay. It would have been better if they were just all legs in there. <laughs> they, the shades. That's how they turned out that way. It wasn't some sort of, like, tragic accident or whatever. They just willingly did it. Alright. There we go. Boom! Ah, somehow it, it does that. Somehow it shoots through the wall. How does that work? I don't know, but it's it's magical as hell. I'm amazed. Okay. Whole bunch of ruined books. Who was even doing this defiling? Who's the defiler? Is this some, like, Molag Bal shit? Is that why it's all undeath? Maybe? Oh. Yeah, is there anything in here? I can hit a cobweb. To no avail, though. Look at this, a sneak peek at the events to come. Okay. Over here, empty urn. Alright. Oh, look at this. Oh, now this is cool. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Wow. Oh, this doesn't actually take us to anything, does it? Okay, well, you know, maybe that's not so cool after all. There is some woot loot up there. Can I get in this? Oh, shit, I got telekinesis. Okay. And what is that? Malign lingering poison. Ah, oh, Shazbot. Okay. Let's see, what else is over there? Is there anything good or is it all just burned books? I think it's all just burned books. Okay. And look at that, the, the telekinesis really came in handy. Alright, here we go. Ah! Ooh! Boom! Got it! Dope. Oh, that was rad as hell. Alright, anything else? See, it would be so cool if telekinesis were like a baseline ability that you could guarantee all Dragonborn characters have, right? At a certain point. Similar to the, the Whirlwind Sprint, right? Or even the Fusro Da. And then you could devise puzzle solving around its use, right? But because they made it an optional thing, well, it's difficult, right? You can't really guarantee that your player will show up here with the requisite ability. Unfortunate. Oh, look, it popped open. We didn't even need a key. Alright. Get him, dude! Yeah, smell him. Oh, shit. Alright. There we go. These dudes really look like they're just from a different game, huh? Alright. What kind of hats are those? Imperial? Or Akaviri? It's hard to tell. Huh. Are probably Imperial, I guess. Since their sword is that. Okay. 
And over here, maybe we should hold off on the, um, the soul stealing, unless... Oh shit, are they grand souls? Let's see. We've got four right now. We about to have five? Oh my god, they're all grand souls. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's see anything else up in here. Dude, we're fucking loaded now. This place is great. Oh, thank goodness we did this when we had like a bazillion different grand soul gems, huh? Alright. Let's see. Isn't Ilya holding a few? Or are they all filled up back. ones? What do you want me to carry? Let's see. Yeah, they're all filled up. Man, we have so many Grand Soul Gems. Lead Maybe on. we need to not be holding on to them anymore. We're getting such a... We're just, like, flush with them. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Because I was... My, my thinking was, hey, as we continue to upgrade and everything, we'll hold on to the Grand Ones and just level ourselves with the not Grand Ones, right? But shit, shit, shit. Look at this. All right. There we go. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> what a throwback. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a dude in here. I didn't even see ya. Good lord. Alright. Oh! Is what happened? Oh my god, did I figure it out? The reason why these, these like, bone lord, shade lords, don't have legs is because the legs are still in their corpses. They got sucked out of their body somehow. Is that what happened? That's why their, their like, chest is caved in because they don't have a rib cage. That's why their head is like a weird old raisin because it's all just meat. Is that it? Oh, shit. Did we solve the mystery? scooby dooby doo I am you. What's in the chest? Wow, a banded iron shield. Garbo. But I'll take that big blue. Let's see. Continue on over here. Some sick bastard in here. Oh. Oh shit. Did I miss? Yep. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, they don't hardly do much damage, too. Not like wizard guards. Let's see. Can I get a little bit of. Nope. Yep, nothing. There we go. Cool. Alright, what have you got? Bone meal. Dude, he he can smell them big style. Where are they? <laughs> Ooh, shit, an archer. Okay. Good. Let's get our defense up. Good. Alright. This might be the last one that we can even hold. Right? There we go. Let's check the ooze. Oh shit, I accidentally just sorted it. Good. Man, this uh this encumbrance situation has really been great. Honestly. We feel I feel like we're so free now. We've been freed from the tyranny of our heavy armor. Okay. What's going up here? Oh, look. Oh, we're meant to go out this way. Okay. Sure, sure. Fun little urn over here. Even littler urns. Okay. Well, then, let's activate this unit. Right oh, God, you. Ilya! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright. Oh, you know what? The weird design on this. Now, this is finally something reminiscent of when we faced off against Meridia's dudes in the Knights of the Nine, right? Okay. Cool. All right. Let's go on check over here, though, because we're not meant to be over here. Oh, look. Is this another fun secret? Yeah. Well, I fucked it up. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. It's going back up. I keep forgetting that you can't do a sprint jump, and it is costing me dearly. Go. Yep. Anything inside of this I can telekinese? No. All right. Fair enough. Here, turn on the lights. Let's see. Hey, Gordon. Okay, nothing else. Let's go on over here. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, oh shit. 
Do I do I stand on this thing? No. Okay. Do I have anything to disenchant? I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Good, good, good. Let's see. What's in this? Maybe this is... Oh, okay. Is this going to activate some fucked up thing? This looks like a meat grinder. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see... Oh, Shazbot. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. I thought that was it. But I'm a fool. Okay. This... <gasps> oh! Oh! God! <laughs> okay. Okay. It's time for sure. To the left a bit. Oh! There it is! Hachi Machi. Okay. Let's do a quick save in case this just, like, instantly meat grinders me. Hey! My meat didn't get ground up. Love that. Okay. And what about this? Does this have another secret trap? No. Okay. Wow, another grand soul. Cool. Bunch of good potions just as well. Alright. Great. Man, I do love that they decide to put in ultimate potions, right? To where they're useful no matter how high leveled your character is, because they're just always a full restore. That's great. Honestly, more stuff that scales like that, right? Maybe they should have made some of the baseline ones, like minor ones. Well, no, because they're that makes them less useful early on, right? Because early on, like, a minor one will top you off pretty well. Just, like, four of them. Alright. I was thinking maybe all of them should restore by a percentage. But, eh, that hurts your early game. And the early game like is always that. the hardest, right? What, these lasers? Oh, yeah, look at them go. Hey, Ilya, this, does this remind you of anything? It's like when I level up! Huh! Oh. oh, look. Hey, that's the... Is that, um... That's where we bought our wood at, isn't it? Yeah, the Solitude Sawmill. Wow, right over yonder. Amazing. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, we get some mid-dungeon loot? Just in case we were losing morale? <laughs> Alright, great. Sure. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Like so. Oh, beautiful. Alright. Oh, shit. Ebony Shield of Frost Abatement. Oh. Increases frost resistance by 60%. Waning Frost Boots? Shit, we'll take almost all of this. Good. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Alright. Is this it? The big final showdown area? Oh, look. Kilcreeth Ruins. I bet this is it. This is the final moment. <gasps> no? Okay. <laughs> Does it still go deeper? I don't remember entirely. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit, look at all this. Oh fuck. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is kind of big. Maybe we should hold off for now. <laughs> Let's pull out of here. <laughs> we'll, we'll finish it up next time. Good lord. Because I would like to finally get back to doing some reading. Good lord. Alright. Cool. When next we come back, we will continue exploring this shit. Oh shit, let's go inside. That way we don't freeze our keister off. Yeah, when next we come back, more of Meridia's fun and wild adventures, right? But, for now, if you'd like to stick around, we will of course be doing a little bit of reading. And what are we reading this time? But, well, we picked it up last time. It's the Falmer stuff. The Falmer, a study, right? Written by none other than Calselmo, right? Nope, that's a lie. <laughs> By Ursa Earthrax, or Uthrox. Alright, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take a quick drink, real quick, before we do this, real quick, 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 quick. Alright. The Falmer, a study. By Ursa Uthrox. Let me cross this off my list just as well. The Falmer a study, right? I've studied and traveled and explored and observed, and my hypothesis has finally my hypothesis has finally been confirmed. That the twisted Falmer that inhabit the darkest depths of Skyrim are indeed the snow elves of legend. No one really knows when the story of the snow elves began, 
but the ancient work, Fall of the Snow Prince, which is an account of the Battle of Mosring as transcribed by Lokheim, chronicler to the chieftain, Ingjaldr White Eye, gives a rather vivid account of its ending. According to this eyewitness account, the great Falmer leader known only as the Snow Prince died in glorious battle and was buried with honor by his Nord slayers. The remaining Snow Elves were scattered or slain and were never heard from again, or so many thought. But where the story of the ancient Snow Elves ends, that of the current day Falmer begins. For when the Snow Elf host was shattered on that fateful day, it did not simply disperse, it descended into the earth deep underground. For the Falmer sought sanctuary in the most unlikely of places, Blackreach, far beneath the surface of Skyrim in the legendary realm of the Dwemer themselves. Yes, Black Reach exists. I have been there, and unlike most of those who have witnessed its terrible glories, I have returned, and I now know the truth about the Falmer. After their defeat by the Nords, the dwarves of old agreed to protect the Falmer, but at a terrible price. For these Dwemer did not trust their Snow Elf guests and forced them to consume the toxic fungi that once grew deep underground. As a result, the Snow Elves were rendered blind. Why? Why did they force them to eat the toxic fungi? So they couldn't see their secrets or something? I guess? Soon, the majestic Snow Elves were rendered powerless. They became the dwarves' servants, and then their slaves. But the Dwemer's treachery was so deep, so complete, that they made the fungi an essential part of the Falmer's diet. This guaranteed the weakness of not only their Falmer thralls, but their offspring as well. The Snow Elves, for time eternal, would be blind. Man, reminds me of, um, what do you call them? The whole genophage situation, right? From Mass Effect. Alright. But, as is always the story with, the, with slaves and their masters, the Falmer eventually rebelled. Generations after they first sought solace among the dwarves and experienced bitter betrayal, the Falmer rose up against their oppressors. They overthrew the dwarves and fled even further down into Blackreach's deepest, most hidden reaches. For decade upon decade, the two sides waged a bitter conflict, a full-fledged and bloody War of the Crag that raged deep below Skyrim's surface. Completely unbeknownst to the Nords above, a war whose battles and heroes must forever remain lost to our knowledge. Until one day, the war ended. For on that day, the Falmer went to meet their Dwemer foes in battle, only to find that the entire race had vanished. Finally free from the threat of their Dwemer overlords, the Falmer were able to spread freely throughout Blackreach, but years of fighting the dwarves had left them bloodthirsty and brutal. Feeling the need to conquer, to kill, they began mounting raids to the surface world. Really? It was them fighting, not the shrooms that did it? I would have assumed that it would be the shrooms that had some sort of ill effect on them that changed, like, their... their perception, like, the way their brains worked and shit. Not that just, yeah, we fought for so long we just became bloodthirsty. <laughs> I don't... I don't know, maybe this is, like, an inaccurate account? Because I'd be sooner to believe, yeah them being forced to eat these fucked up mushrooms also made them bloodthirsty, right? I, I'd, I'd buy that sooner than, yeah, we fought in a lot of wars, so now we just got, we, oh, generations and generations now just gotta be killing. <laughs> and so the legends began of small, blind, goblin-like creatures who would rise from the cracks of the earth in the dead of night 
to slaughter cattle, attack lonely travelers, and steal sleeping babes from their cribs. In recent years, however, the sightings of these creatures have become more and more frequent, their raids more organized, their attacks more brutal. In fact, one might even come to the conclusion that the Falmer are ready to change once again. Could it be true? Are the Snow Elves of ages past ready to reclaim their long-forgotten glory? Are they ready to surge to the surface and make war upon the Light Dwellers? If that happens, if the Falmer are indeed planning on reconquering Skyrim, I fear a horror neither man nor gods could possibly stand against. Ooh, that's the end. But if I remember correctly, this is definitely an account from the perspective of this author, as is often the case in Elder Scrolls, right? There's, um, there's a lot more nuanced and generous, uh, benevolent even, takes on the Falmer situation, right? And rightly so, because they were royally fucked over by the Dwemer, right? How weird of a situation that would be. I forgot that detail of it. Of, um... Honestly, I forgot a lot of the, the details of everything. <laughs> but I forgot about the, the idea that, yeah, they would just... One day they'd show up to go to, to fight the fucking Dwemer, and they'd all be fucking gone. How weird is that? Also, a recurring theme among Mur, right? Is that they are in some way changed, right? You've got the, um... The Falmer here, of course, by some weird wild event. They have been altered, their physiology altered permanently, seemingly. And the Dunmer, of course, with the, um, oh shit, what's it even called? The Azura's Curse or whatever? That has made them supposedly meant to make them look scary as shit, but in some ways kind of made them look cool. <laughs> also, um, the Orsimer, right? Weren't they also in some way changed by Malakath and Trinimac? Didn't, didn't something go on there? Was there something with the Bosmer as well? I can't remember. I'm not sure. There may have been something to do with the Bosmer as well. Not related to the to the orcs, but um, on their own separate occasion. If anything, the only one that I don't think I can remember anything about are the the Altmer, right? And maybe that lends credence to their whole like um, racial supremacy bullshit, right? Fuck them. Or at least why why you have pockets of them and growing pockets, mind you. Certainly not all of them, but growing pockets among the Altmer who are just massive racists. <laughs> Good God. Maybe that's that's why. I don't know. Interesting stuff. I, I'm not sure if there is anything with the Bosmer with that now. And I th I'm pretty sure there is with the Orcs, right? I'm pretty sure... Orcs have underwent some sort of physiological alteration, right? Huh. Or would you call it evolution, right? I guess so. Or, I, you know what? In in this case, yeah, in every case, is it not a form of de-evolution? Or at least from the perspective of whoever inflicts it upon them, right? Certainly, very clearly, the Falmer had probably the worst of it, right? But, um... With, with the Dunmer, that was certainly meant to be de-evolution, right? Huh. Weird. What a weird recurring theme, right? I wonder if there's ever going to be anything that, that, like, comes of that. Probably whenever they decide to do a big hullabaloo with the Dwemer, right? I'm hoping that that, that will be with Elder Scrolls Six, but who knows for sure. I think a lot of people are chomping at the bit for for some big Dwemer revelations, right? I know I certainly am. Especially if um, if, it, if Elder Scrolls VI encompasses a lot of the areas, or multiple regions, in fact, like, um, people are massively theorycrafting, just completely out of control theorycrafting about, um, that it might take place over multiple regions, and those regions, I think... In some of the more popular theories, aren't they ones that would contain Dwemer ruins? I think so, and that would be all of them, right? That would account for... There would be games in that case, uh, barring spin-offs and, and like ESO and all that. 
but they were that would cover all the core games having taken place now in locations that have Dwemer ruins predominantly, right? It's just all in the... Isn't it all along the northern parts of Tamriel, right? Morrowind, Skyrim, and all that shit over there in the northeast. <laughs> yeah, the High Rock, Rothgarian, Daggerfall, you know, all that stuff up there with the weird Z-S-shaped peninsula. <laughs> Good God, I can't believe I'm still not committed, like, to my mind. Just all of the weird shit up there. <laughs> there's all that, you know, there's some stuff up there. Just that stuff, you know. <laughs> Good Lord. Alakir Desert, I think it might be somewhere around there. Uh, eh, who knows? It's all sorts of weird stuff. <laughs> Good God. Though, I guess, you know what? An opportunity, even if they do that and there's not a big Dwemer revelation, you still have the opportunity to return to Morrowind and uh, focus more on the mainland. But you could also have like, oh shit, oh my god, we are actually going back to Vardenfell after the Red Year and all that stuff, right? That could be neat. That could be a way for them to do that. Would be pretty, pretty neat. All right. Nonetheless, hey, Falmer stuff. Very intriguing, right? Very neat. Very cool that, you know, just recently in Morrowind, we sort of stumbled upon, wasn't it, or am I mistaken, the the very beginning of Falmer lore in Morrowind, in Blood Moon, right? Very cool, huh? And now we're seeing it finally come to fruition. Gosh, I you gotta love when they, they build upon it, right? Even if it doesn't pan out, it's still kind of fun to have it continually just developed and built upon, right? Anyway, when next we come back, Meridia stuff. Until next time, please take care of each other.